need plastic gloves. Right, we're checking road casualty badges for any suspicious cause of death or injury. Um, okay, first thing we want to do is have a look um, and get these as fresh as we can, by the way. Um, only pick them up if it's safe to do so. Uh, if not, then you should be contacting your local badge group with the location. We need the grid reference, ideally, or a postcode. That will enable us to locate the badger and also we can log it and keep a track. If it is suspicious, we can keep an eye out for suspicious um, carcasses that turn up in that location. So, we're now looking um, at a badger here that has been dead a couple of days I'm afraid it's um, starting to bloat up it's rather smelly um, we're looking for normally I uh, see that it's starting to rigor mortis is starting to set in uh, we're looking for any head injuries this is normally common um, with road traffic accidents genuine um, vehicle collision <coughs> because animals seem to turn and face what's hit them. Um, we're, next thing we're going to do is uh, have a good look around for any broken limbs, broken neck, any, any obvious sort of signs of a collision, which doesn't appear to be on this one. Young boar. Um, yeah, okay, so we've got fractured left forelimb, and this is serious collision damage here. It's broken broken the jaw, three three pieces there, and the upper jaw. Um, yeah it's fractured the skull as well so that is quite common with road traffic accidents it's also got broken rear limb no obvious marks of bit of a fighting mark there but uh, no obvious sort of size what we're doing is we're looking for puncture wounds with a shotgun you tend to get lots peppered sort of small holes but with a rifle um, you'll get just a single hole so that seems to be genuine as well this is a young say again we're just checking Yeah, we've got fractured upper jaw, three or four pieces, fractured skull. Again, that's very consistent with sort of uh, higher speed vehicle collisions. The, these badges were all found um, within four miles of each other on, a, on an A road. Here you can see the collision has split the uh, the leg right through so no other marks on there quite a young side looking at the teeth nothing else that has given us any indication of any suspicious activity so whilst you're checking over the badger uh, for any suspicious signs that we mentioned about the bullet bullet wounds shotgun wounds we're also looking for 
any unusual bites. Now, I tend to find with dog fighting injuries, they seem to be under the arms here, around the, around the neck. Um, seems to be quite common, so look for that. Also look for any signs of snaring. That's common around the neck, around the main abdomen, body of the badger, um, sometimes legs, but they tend to cut right through and you'll see this, these lines that are made. Also looking for any cuts, two little cuts, incisions at the base of the neck, back of the head, um, about a quarter of an inch apart. This is uh, a very common thing now with the badger baiters. What they do is they make two incisions there and sever the tendon which basically renders the, the badger paralysed. It's unable to move its head and then they throw it to the dog. So if you do find any badgers that are showing these two little marks here then uh, that is, needs reporting immediately. Uh, to your local badger group or RSPCA, local police wildlife liaison.